Hello students. Today we are going to learn second part of this chapter. The name is geometric progression. The first part is arithmetic progression, and second part is continue with a name geometric progression. See the students. Today we are going to learn short sum of geometric progression. First of all. I will dictate the example of geometric progression. So, first of all, we find down here the formula from is T n is equal to a into r n minus one. First of all, T n. So, T n is equal to Here given is a, so we write here t a is equal to a t a. A is a first term. First term means one upon three. Here r, so we write here r. So that means in arithmetic progressions, d means a difference. Here in formula r means ratio of second term upon first. So we write here second term upon first term. So one upon six into is divided three upon one. So we write here minus two one by two minus. Now. T A is equal to A means one upon three into R minus one upon two. Here A minus one, one upon two, sorry, one upon three into minus one upon two power seven. So one upon three into Minus one upon two power seven means one twenty eight. Now multiply by three, so minus one upon four hundred. Sorry, one one upon three hundred eighty four. Here the answer of the A is. One minus one upon three hundred eighty and four. Now to this friends, second. So we write here. First of all, we need here the total of. So this friends, the total is given. So T n is equal to seven twenty nine. A is equal to one upon root three. And R is equal to second term upon first term. So one into this root three is going to upward. So R is equal to root three. Now T N is equal to A into R N minus one. See the spread here. T N is two seventy nine is given. A is equal to one root three is given here. Root three n minus one because here n is not given. Now see the spread. We can convert here seven twenty nine convert in a power. So we write here. Three power six. Here one upon root three. We want to root three upper. So we write here root three minus one into root three n minus one. See the students. Here we can convert three into root three. So power is double. Whenever we put a root. At that time, power is double. So here we root three use 
So power is power. Six into two, we can use a twelve. Now root three. Here the multiplication, since here multiplication is given, wherever the multiplication is given, n ten ten, the power is n n. N minus one and three minus one. Now the both the base are same. Here root three is given. Here root three is given. So we directly write here. Two n is equal to n is equal to plus minus minus plus minus two. So n is equal to twelve plus two. Same change. N is equal to fourteen. Here we find a n. The 14 number of term is 729. After that, same as in here. First of all, we write p n is equal to 1 upon 1536. A is equal to First term one upon three, and R is equal to one upon six and one upon three. So one upon six into fourteen. Three by one. So we write here one by two. Now put in formula. A into R n minus one. Here T n is given one upon one five three six. A is equal to one upon three. R is equal to one by two. N is not given. Now see the students here three one by three is cross multiplied with opposite side. One five three six is equal to one by two n minus one. Now here three is a uh, part one five three six. So we write here one upon five hundred and twelve is equal to one by two n minus one. See the students here. Five by two converted into power. So we write that is one by two power nine is equal to one by two in nine. See the students here base one by two one by two same. So we write here nine is equal to n minus one. So n is equal to nine. So sine change with sine change. So n is equal to ten. See the strength. It is a small sum of geometric progression. Thank you, class.